Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Elden Ring. Today we're going to start off by grabbing that map fragment up in the north uh, in the Dragon Barrow. And that is going to complete our map of Kaelid. So we're going to start off by the ruins here, work our way north along this, uh, this big fissure that runs through the land. And keep an eye out for the dogs around here. They're really close to the edge of this gorge that we have to jump. And I'd rather not have them trying to chomp on my butt cheeks. My luscious, succulent, juicy cheeks. Ooh, not even a one of them. Okay, stop and grab this Sight of Grace. That'll give us a little bit more access into Dragon Barrow when we come back. Uh, but we just want to venture a little bit beyond that. Oh, the rain already cleared up. Okay. There's the Divine Tower, and then just over this big gnarled root is the Obelisk. Oh, hey! Rain once again with the Dragon Barrow map. We're gonna scoot our way over here a little bit so as to not aggro the Dragon Suit Patrol around the area. Uh, and then we can take a good look around Kaelid, newly completed, and... We're starting to fill in a good chunk of that world map, but look how much is not filled in yet. We got a lot of game left to go. Now, all around here, you can see things like traces of runes, these shipwrecks, uh, whirlpools even, There's the rowboats down here. Uh, there are files in the game, though, with much more going on out here. Uh, specifically from the beta build of the game that everyone got access to during the network test. Oh, there's that whirlpool. They're sailing straight into it. The map is similar, but there are two things that are everywhere on it. The first is sea monsters, and the second is text, but the text is in a language from southern China called Yi. There are only about two million native Yi speakers, so it took a little while, but Chinese Elden Ring fans finally figured out exactly what the script uh, was and how to translate it. I'm getting all this information from a video on the channel of a Chinese Elden Ring fan recounting all this, by the way. I'll link that in the description. But the story is so interesting. <laughs> like, at one point, uh, they had to come up with a method to figure out whether the script even meant anything or if they were just, like, randomly generated using some Yi characters. Because that's not an uncommon thing for From to do for aesthetic purposes. Um, as the video goes into detail about, too. Because before they went into painstaking detail, trying to essentially decrypt an alphabet and language they don't know, uh, you really want to know the effort is going to yield something. Uh, like some of the Latin, quote-unquote, lyrics in the game, uh, in the game's songs are randomly generated gibberish. So it's not a concern without merit. Oh, and over here, if not for the fog from the rain, we would get probably one of my favorite views. I mean, that and the Reign of Arrows, too. That doesn't help you to stand still and appreciate the view. So, long story short, they figured out that, one, it's not just gibberish, and two, uh, it's Yi translated specifically from Japanese. They figured this out because they found a script to transliterate from Japanese to... Uh, to ye by a Rwandan linguistic scholar living in Japan. The internet is incredible. And some of those messages are things like, don't listen to the songs of the lying mermaids, multiple witnesses to a sea serpent. Stuff like that. And again, those sea monsters were like all over the, the map. Alright, so now that we've done a full circle, we're going to do that jump onto the branch one more time. Avoid the arrows best we can. They don't really do too much beyond some chip damage. Uh, and then this time around, instead of circling around to the back where all the flame chariots are, we're going to climb the ladder and head inside the fort. And am I going to get... Oh, cool. I only got clipped by that. There is another one coming up. Okay, down below, we got a lion. And... Get down there. Oh, come on. 
sir. Impeccable balance. Aw, oh, it's not gonna work. I'm not gonna be able to push him down. He's gonna die first. I wanted to make him fight the lion. Sadly, I don't think they would have fought anyway. The lion does, in fact, discriminate between friends and foe. Alright, let's roast you. And you. Because there's a knight commander who's just about to come out of the tower. Oh, perfect. And then we could just deal with him one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, okay. Almost overcommitted there. Would have been pretty nasty. Oh, okay. He recovers from that really fast. Too fast for me to get a backstab if I roll away from it. Oop. Ah. Okay, we'll back up and then probably just finish him with a bloody slash. Because that will go straight through the guard. Convene the Festival of War. Honor General Radon with a warrior's glory. It's in your hands, Sir Jaren. All right. And a Star Scourge heirloom depicting Radon. So first, invigorating fire that enhances physical and fire affinity attack power. And it does not burn the caster. And then our Star Scourge heirloom. The mightiest hero of the demigods confronted the falling stars alone, and thus did he crush them. His conquest sealing the very fate of the stars. God, Radon is cool. Could not, again, be more different from how, uh, Godric was built up. Goddamn Rick Don. Alright, so we're gonna come out here, explore a little bit, then we are going to throw ourselves to the lions and become a gladiator. Okay, then we'll jump down here. There's nobody actually on this level, though the lion... Oh, I don't hear him. The lion wants to get to you up here, but can't. So that gives you a chance to pick up the guitar for free. Even if he does that attack where he dives into the air and, and lunges at you, I don't think that's enough hype. That's okay, we'll give him his wish, though. We'll come give the lion a fight. Oh, that's way off. I get clipped by that. Two, three. Oh good, I hit the tail. Oh, that shouldn't have worked, but it did! <laughs> Whoops. Oh, way too early, way too early, okay. Come on, what are you doing? That hits so far behind him! <laughs> There we go, not again. I thought he was gonna spin. The lion really likes spinning when you're behind him. Ha! Oh, I think I missed the lever. I ran around up there for like a solid minute and I forgot the lever for the gates up there. Oh, that's it, yep. Even if I got behind him, I felt like I was probably getting hit. Two. Ah, I didn't need to do the jump attack. That was pretty greedy. There 
very, very good. Lion's Claw is deceptively named. Given the moveset of the lion, you would think it might be like one of those uh, 360 degree slashing attacks it does, or something like that. It's the Artorias Somersault uh, attack. It's the front flip. That's Lion's Claw. Uh, and now we're gonna climb out of here and go work our way around again. Same way we did the first time. Just cross the beam. Jump, and it's really, really obvious at the end of this. Over. There we are. <laughs> Hidden in plain sight is what it was. That's what I'm going with. Uh, now we can also just jump down here. And the front gate is open for us. Not that there's really anything uh, too juicy left for us. At least in this fort. But one good fort deserves another. We're going to head over to Fort Faroth. And remember what I said about Dragon Barrow. It's practically a different zone in terms of what it's scaled for. Well, this one is in Dragon Barrow, and it's full of bats who can one-shot me. But I think I have a plan for them. If I'm wrong, then I'm about to go in and probably die in a very embarrassing way. But if I'm not wrong, I will probably get a bunch of comments along the lines of, Oh, I didn't know that's how you made the bats easy. Alright, so first things first, we are going to buff ourselves with Flame Granite Strength, and then we're going to call out our bird. Now, there are two different types of bats in here. There are like four or five regular bats who aren't terribly threatening, and it'll just take two fireballs to kill one. But also, there's at least three big chanting ones who will ruin my day if given the chance. Uh, they spread poison, they'll one-shot me with their grabs. Oh, uh, there's one. And you can see that they are a lot more sturdy. However, oh, it works! Rejection works! It knocks them prone. Okay, this is gonna work. There's one behind me. I just have to keep aware of where the other ones are so I don't get grabbed while I'm attacking a prone one. That's my main concern now. Luckily, we have the wall between us and the other one now. Okay. Oh, beautiful. This is going great. And our Stormhawk is doing a great job of keeping them separated. Keeping the whole room occupied over there. If that had landed on me, that was the grab windup. <laughs> that would have been death. Okay. Can you get in position? We can get two of them with one. Oh no, we didn't get the other. I think this is still fine. This is fine. This is good. Yeah, we don't want that. Don't want that. Where'd you go? Did I knock it down here? Come here. There we are. Stormhawks doing Psycho Crushers on them. Okay, if my count is right, that's all the big problems. I'm assuming since none of them followed me out here, all the small bats are probably dead too. Maybe? If some of them are, are alive, then... Cleaning up the stragglers won't be a problem. I'm just glad with how smooth that went. Uh, something else that would have worked pretty well, I think, would have been if I was still on my sorcery build. Casting gravity magic at them will do a lot. like 
just one lone straggler there and refilled him all my flasks when he died. So now the scary part of Fort Faroth is over. Uh, there's like one other thing that can go wrong here, but probably won't. Who knows? Uh, there are a couple of apparition knights who will appear. Uh, up here on the second floor, and then there are also a couple of small bats left somewhere, and a really big rat. I wish the Stormhawk would come here. Stormhawk, come closer. I want to heal it. Brilliant. Good job, Stormhawk. All right, meter's running, let's go. Hey, we finally get the other half of the Dectus medallion, meaning we actually do have access to Altus Plateau now. We actually have access to the Dectus lift now. Great spawn location. Oh, okay, oh well. Yeah, a little bit of iframes on coming up, on getting up, so you can't oki them too hard. You have to delay your oki pressure. No wake up reversals for them. A lot of iframes. Oh, what are you dropping for me? Okay, rank three smithing stones, that's not bad. What is the bird getting caught up on? Oh, uh, I think the bird's fighting a small rat or a, or a bat. Whatever it's fighting, it's not losing. <laughs> Unless it's just fighting collision, in which case it's losing badly. Maybe a ghost knight spawned? And it's fighting that? Where the f- Oh, hi! What are you fighting? Oh yeah, a little rat, okay. I'll give it the assist. I'm gonna have bigger rats to fry in a minute. This one in the corner, he wants to kind of bait you in. But we know this is a blind corner, so we don't take that bait. <laughs> You're meant to run forward, zerg down the small rat, and then the big one's there to jump you. Oh, good. Full staggers on every hit. What a weapon. Right, that was the only other thing that I was scared could go wrong in Fort Faroth, because just a regular giant rat, but given where it is, it hits very hard. And sometimes those giant rats get me. They catch me out. Let's check out this Radagon Sore Seal, though. This gnarly looking... fetid pustule of a talisman. This legendary talisman is an eye engraved with an Elden rune said to be the seal of King Consort Radagon. Greatly raises vigor, endurance, strength, and dex, but also increases damage taken by a similar uh, measure. Solemn duty weighs upon the one beholden. Not unlike a gnawing curse from which there is no deliverance. The damage increase, by the way, is about 15%. And some of the extra stats that you get from it further offset that. So it's not even that bad. It's a really, really strong uh, relic. 
And then, of course, after that, uh, we don't really need rejection anymore, at least not for the near term. So we can play with some other spells instead. Uh, and then after this, we're going to head, I think, a little bit north from here, maybe northeast. Yeah, about north-northeast towards that big tower in the distance. I'll just set myself a guiding star, and we'll keep that heading, and between us and the tower that we're heading towards, uh, there's also this minor Erd tree, which means another Erd tree avatar. Uh, we're gonna leave that one alone for a little bit. We'll be back for that mm, before too long. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, we have to come back here really soon. Not for the minor Erd tree itself or for anything that the avatar drops, but to do platforming. There's a lot of platforming in Kaelid. There is so much of it to do. But we're gonna... Oh, we're gonna dodge lightning, and then we're gonna collect some Fulgur Bloom. Really cool name for a plant. Especially a plant that appears when lightning strikes. Um... No, we're gonna... We're gonna compact all of that platforming. And it is... Some of it's pretty damn hard uh, into probably the post Radon episode uh, for the time being. Oh, we could have also taken the lower path down here. Okay. But this takes us to a couple of graves with a couple of golden runes. Golden rune six, three, eight... And then a spirit spring will let us land safely at the base of the tower. Now the trick to Lens Rise is that this is sealed off like some other towers that we've seen. The trick to Lens Rise is that it's not a puzzle sealing the door. We don't have to solve any puzzle. Uh, rather, we don't have to go through the door. <laughs> I guess you could call this a platforming puzzle? If you look just above the sealed door, uh, you can see that there is a ledge and an open door. So that's what we're going to aim for. And we're going to use the Spirit Spring to get up to it. We're going to circle around. And... Oh, I think I missed it. Yeah. I jumped a little too late. Should be an easy fix. Oh, no! <laughs> Went far that time. Oh, I didn't even know I could overshoot that. Alright, try three. Huh? That feels ugly, because for a second you can't see around that corner to see if you're actually going to catch the ledge right. All the way at the top here, we get another memory stone. So we get another spell slot out of that. Minimal effort, minimal time expended, pure benefit. And then we can also take uh, the elevator that we just called all the way down to the bottom level of this locked tower. And see uh, what's going on down here. Who, what was Len doing in their rise? It is another one of these graven schools. The second one we've seen so far in Kaelid. In fact, I believe we've seen more of them now in Kaelid than we did in Liurnia. Oh, 
Oh, this is gonna take a second, huh? God, I love abilities that do percentage-based damage. And it was all for nothing! Well, we did get something. The guilt of killing all those people who refused together. <laughs> Oh well, spilled milk. <laughs> hmm. uh, so next up, we're actually going to briefly return to Liernia. Uh, I'm going to go into my maps because I recently realized that these have descriptions. Most of them are non-consequential or non-substantive, non but... You know, we get this tidbit about Liernia sinking into the lake. Uh, and one of the descriptions reminded me of something. Oh, there's Melania, Blade of Mikola. <sighs> Dragons escape the Scarlet Rot, made a nest in the plateau to Caelid's Noor. This is the one that reminded me. Two great rivers flow beneath the lands between the Sofra and the Einsel. This vast region is said to be a grave of civilizations that flourished before the Erd Tree. We went down into the Sofra River well from uh, the Mistwood. We have not checked out the Einsel River. And there's a lot of cool stuff down there. Some of which is about to become extremely relevant. So, we're going to take a quick detour out of Kaelid in Dragon Barrow uh, to come back down here. And to take another trip underground. This time, no braziers, nothing like that. This is a very different area uh, than the Sofra River Well. It's also going to let us pick up a couple of new Sites of Graces along the way. Uh, now, let's see. How am I getting down here? Just through here? Yep. Easy peasy. Now, the golem with the halberd is going to be guarding this, but he is a chump. Stands no chance. I don't know what he hit. It must have been a sheep. Poor sheep. Drawn into a battle that he had nothing to do with. Oh, look at that. Giant ants. Isn't that wonderful? Big bugs. Call the EDF. So like I said, not going to be like our time in Sofra. This one is a little bit more... Mm, deep nest. Let's start with the tunnel here. This one dead ends pretty quickly. I don't think we can get above the waterfall and there's nothing behind it. But there is an item to grab. There is something behind you once you enter the room. And it's this big ant waiting to drop down, I assume, on the way back. I'm guessing he's going to come and pincer me when I attack them. Otherwise, I don't know what his point is. Let's find out. Oh, great, great, great. These giant ants happen to be really weak to fire. So let's see what the tip of the spear does. Oh, ho, ho, yeah.
Oh, that also sears him right down to the bone. Right down to the exoskeleton. No, the... Mm, the... Endoskeleton? Yeah. But wait, that's still like their... Mm, I don't know enough about insect biology <laughs> to know how deep this should burn. <laughs> down to the chitin. But I do love bug words. Like, I love using chitin and carapace. <laughs> this is a carapace. It's not a... <laughs> this is dumb. <laughs> ah. Let's just grill some more ants. Well, I just want to grill. Steven, would you please stop attacking me? I'm trying to grill here. Oh, God. He's giving me some propane for the grill. <laughs> the ants aren't too scary. The the thing that they do that they do, the thing that them ants does, is uh, is they spray acid sometimes, which is a big pain in the ass, especially in these very narrow corridors. You can see they have range on that. Artillery fire. got more? And Ants Depot, we always got more ants. Oh, I think we have run out of ants now. No, we have not. I lied. Look at that nice juicy A. Are we going even to something other than fire? They're not holding up too well. This room is making me suspicious. I wonder why. As I trample over the mountain of bones and corpses. And coffins. Stone coffins. Not the only coffin we're going to find in this river. It's only Ghost Love Warp 1. Yeah, you can tell from the level of materials around here. Um... That we're not dealing with the same level of threat that we were just up against in, in Dragon Barrow. However, you also saw one of those ants take 60% of my health off with a projectile uh, from another area code. So perhaps let's not get too big for our britches. That is how disasters tend to happen, yeah? Collect ourselves another site of grace. Uh, we're not going to be taking that elevator just yet. We're going to hold off on that for a moment. Because there are a couple of different ways that these corridors fork, and I don't think we've hit all of them yet. So we just have to do a little backtracking through the cave here, and then I think we are going to hang a right. Sure are. Hell yeah. I'm doing it. I'm learning. I'm learning directions. This is going to be a powerful new me. <laughs> a me who doesn't get lost? Alright, so we have a lot of friends. Oh, that works too. Good. Oh, piercing, yes! Again? 
No, didn't have the angle for that one. I love that two for one. Please? Thank you. <laughs> and I don't know how that one did not pierce, but okay. Leaving us with only the queen. Reminds me a lot of the bloated ticks in Kanehurst. What do we get for that? A rune arc. I'll take it. And now, let's leave the hatchery behind us. That way we can get out here again to the Ul Palace Ruins. Ul and Old. And Elden John with a stone tablet again, that statue. Illuminated by uh, the skylight, shining a god ray down upon him. The most important character that we do not know the name of. <laughs> I love how they roll at you. Look at him and try to go. They're doing their best. They're doing their best. They're made of clay. What do you want from them? And that's another passage that's just hidden away back here. But we want to clean up in this annex before we go any further. Because there's a surprise waiting for us. Got any soap behind here? Any soap? Any soap? No, it's not like the last waterfall we visited. <laughs> Gave us a chance to clean up after ourselves. <laughs> I don't mind that. I might get clipped, but... Alright, so straight through or the tunnel? Let's go for the tunnel. Want to make sure nothing dropped behind me. I, I thought I heard something. Now then. What well, hasn't noticed us yet, so. I'm sorry, did you think the giant, horrible, hairy ants would be the worst bugs in the river? So for as long as we can, we are going to sneak around here. And then when it notices us, well, you see the design of the room. Pillars and columns everywhere. It's a turret. It's ostensibly a turret. Firing meteorites at you. That should be good. I should be good. No. Okay. This would be a little bit more terrifying if we came here later, but this is still okay. Oh, that's big damage. Yeah, this would be. Uh, this would take a little bit longer too. Gives us a good look at it, too. Especially, there's something I want to get, I want you to get a look at. It's 
that blue eye in the center of the forehead. If you want a name to refer to this giant horrible insect as, by the way, that was a malformed star. malformed star. And in the room behind the malformed star... Oh wait, no, is this not it? He's somewhere. I think I hear him. I think I hear his instrument. Oh, he's just below it. Collect some of this stuff down here first. Uh, there's a merchant right below him and in the room, like, right behind. Behind and below. Along with the map. You have to go through the malformed star to get this. And it's not for the entire river, it's just for this one section of it. Someone customer? Well, how long has it been? I wonder why. Ooh, these would have been good against the birds as well. Something else? No, we're good. I'm well supplied now. Oh, another Elden John. Classic, classic. I could have sworn I picked that up. Uh, anyway, we're back out here. I am going to cut out collecting all the materials that were in the room that you were just seeing, because uh, the one with the malformed star, because it's all just low-level runes and crafting materials. And some small smithing stones. Um, and also, at the end of that, I left Einsel River and went and did something else because I forgot. I neglected one of the coolest and most important parts of coming down here. So I am back. You're following me all the way out here? I'm flattered. Yeah, there's another small section to see and a really cool boss. There we are. I knew I could do that, and I can I know I can get up here from this too. I think. Oh no, I guess not. I was trying to go for a little ramp. I was thinking about the uh the tree in the beginning of Dark Souls 3 that you can ramp off of. Uh no, we want to come over here a bit. We are gonna do some more jumping up. Just to, uh, some more reachable footholds. And this is an easy spot to miss. But that's brand new Sight of Grace. And one more path. Leads us into a room with more giant ants. A lot more, in fact. So we're gonna thin those numbers out and then charge in. About here. Ooh. Is that the same timing as the lions? That one, two, three. No, it's. Those are more consecutive. Immunizing Horn Charm. Formic Rock. Which I believe is their crystallized saliva. Don't be fooled by the name. 
and again splits into two more. Oh, I know this one. Old friends. The return of the basilisks. Five, bad spot. Let's take him out before moving on. Then the, I think there's another one behind me as well. Who should be coming out? Oh, they aren't that mean. It's okay. It's right here. That's okay. You can stay in your cloud. You don't have to come to me. We can do it either way. I'm good for either. Oh, there's my soap. I was looking for some of that. Gonna need a lot of soap if we plunge down into that. That down there? That's for later. Much, much later. That is the Lake of Rot. Like I keep saying, Miyazaki got his love for creating poison swamps back with this game. And that's the end game one. Thankfully, not our problem today. We're gonna backtrack and go out to the other prong of that fork. And we'll have a, t a, a few more ants to plow through, but there are no real resistance at this point. Oh, well, two of them might be. Nope. I've stopped getting jump scared by the bubble popping on its own. I'm growing, evolving. Luckily for us, none of those eggs will hatch on their own. So that's one less ambush to worry about. One less vector of ambush. Now we can just collect our melted mushroom. And then proceed. Why so many messages? Lies. Okay, so we have only one thing ahead of us, and it's one of the main reasons why I came down here in the first place, aside from the malformed star. Check this out. The Eternal City high above... God knows who that is in that enormous throne. And then you venture deeper and all of a sudden. Oh, holy shit, they are so cool. That big open cavity in their chest is causing me problems. I'm not going to really be able to hit him with my daggers too well. Dragonkin Soldier of Noxtella. As opposed to Nokron. Noxtella is the sister city. This works, though. And again, we get this lovely standing water for the arena. Flashing and deforming all over the place. Adds so much to the spectacle, I love it. Gets that big punch like the bloodletting beast does. I, it's just very, everything about this screams bloodborne to me. 
especially the uh it's the the thing that really sets that off in my head is all of the oh he's so cool all of the petrified uh bodies like you see those all over yarhar ghoul like that particular model of the corpse Ooh, whoops follow up Okay, good. We get the second one. And then, are you gonna turn on me? Kinda does the Amelia swipes again. <laughs> Since I have nothing but Bloodborne on the oh yeah, I was gonna compare him to Pearl, but this is way cooler than Pearl. <laughs> Oh, hell yes. And they're shredded and stubby, so he can only keep himself airborne for a moment. But it's long enough to just dive kick you out of the sky. Gotta run, gotta run. Radical arena, radical boss design with a radical move set. Ah, oh, that sucks. That really sucks. That's so much missed damage. This might not be good. Oh, this is definitely not good. I have no pots. Okay, we can just we can still do this though. Ah, oh, come on. Cannot miss those like that. This is fine. That attack is a little bit spooky, though. This is a not. This is a not a scary. Do I have the timing? Good. Oh, no! I was so focused on getting just out of range of that, I didn't see him winding up the follow-up attack. Show me that transformation again. Hell yeah. Let's go. Starting off like this. I'm gonna make sure I don't get smacked dodging the third one. Okay, are you crawling forward? No, you're gonna do a fourth one? You crawling forward now? Kinda. Ah, that chest. Ugh, ugh. The unlock. Dodge that like a champ, though. There's my damage. Stupid chest cavity. <laughs> oh, that's maybe... Yeah, that's greedy. That's fine. That's damage. A damage in the bank. Not what I meant to do. Whoops. Let me switch. Back. Yeah, the follow-up. This is not good, actually. I'm gonna get hit by that. And then that's gonna cause me to get hit by this, which also gets me frostbitten. Thankfully, he didn't do a third one. He kind of gave me a break. After a really bad mistake. Let's not leave any more room for error. Whoop. Collapses right so I'm inside the chest cavity that I couldn't hit. All right, let's get a look at that skeleton, although not fully skeletonized. 
there is skin on some of those fingers. Great Ghost Glove War. That is to bring legendary or unique spirit ashes up to plus 10. Uh, now, I will cut back to what I did uh, between leaving the river earlier and now. And since we're back in the round table hold now, I'm going to go see Nefeli before I forget to do this again, because I've been neglecting her quest line and we got an item to progress it oh, when we revisited the they opening level. It's pathetic, I know, but I, I need to... So you know already, do you? My... It's true. My father cast me out for indulging my emotions, forgetting the mission, punishment for offing his pawns. Father, mother, Lord Gideon has offered me guidance all my life. I would have done anything for him to place him on the throne of Elden Lord. And yet I, though it was not my intent, I betrayed him. And I can no longer trust in Father to think he'd order his men to enact such tragedy. Where is the justice he purports in that? He once told me that if he became Elden Lord, he would never allow the downtrodden to be cheated ever again. Was he simply lying to me? No, no, no. How could I say that? Father has always given me his guidance. And now... smell the ancient storm in it. My thanks. I'll gladly take it. I'm not like Roderica. I don't feel the presence of spirits, let alone see them. Still, this ash, it reminds me of my first hawk. Thank you. In this ash, I can smell the ancient storm. It reminds me of my first... All right, wheels are in motion. Uh, however, that's not gonna pay off until a little later, until I think after Lamedell is when we're gonna see where all of that leads to. Kenneth's quest too. I really wanna make this even. <laughs> have to I have to invest I have to invest that wasted point <laughs> it'll drive me crazy otherwise all right so remember hell cave where is it should be somewhere around the swamp Celia crystal tunnel there we are the cave of hell with all of the pests in it we did part of this tunnel, but we left the half with the boss in it for another day, and that another day has come. We're here to finally finish what we started. Was that episode one? Or was that episode two? <laughs> I think that was uh, the transition between them started to here. Good. Oh! That's that empty jump into nothing. <laughs> oh, you. And thankfully, when we were here, uh, we unlocked a couple of shortcuts before leaving. Oop. Hard to get position with the rock there. Uh, specifically, we dropped down this ladder. 
Which means we don't have to do much... Hello? Which one? That one didn't wake up. Oh, it's the one below. Are you gonna behave? While I climb this ladder, or do I actually have to go kill you? Behave. Behave yourself. Good pest. Good. I give that pest a treat when I go back down. The treat is that it gets to live. Okay, there are two pests praying at an altar up there, but they're a distraction. You go for them, then you get ambushed by this one. You maybe panic, make some stupid rolls, make a lot of noise, and suddenly you may find yourself in a 3v1. Their death noises are... unsettling. Somber 4? Very, very nice. Thank you. What? Not a backstab? I was stepping on its... On... Ah, uh, its butt. Trying not to call it its tail. <laughs> its lengthy, lengthy butt. Oh, you. Oh, you. As if being able to send projectiles around the corner wasn't enough. And also just smack me through the wall. This was great, though. They decided to split the party, and that goes about as well as it always does. Thanks. Thanks for the other one. Drops so casually when you're not farming for it. Damn. There you go. having these on me. Oh no! <laughs> twice. Scroll past it twice. The Faithful's Canvas Talisman. This is another really good one for uh, incantation builds. Talisman bearing an icon that depicts a group of masked figures raises potency of incantations. The figure represent the figures represent the flock at prayer, the firm their firm belief in the intangible, inspiring even the solitary founder of their religion. What is faith if not affirmation? And I'm pretty sure that the effect of the faithful canvas talisman, Faithful's canvas talisman, uh, is greater than what I get out of the five points of faith from, uh, the Two Fingers heirloom. Is there anything over here? Did I get the somber stone that was in the other room? I don't think I did. I didn't. Cool. Okay. I'm not crazy. <laughs> That's a... Oh, that's not a somber. That's just a regular five. Okay, one thing left to do. What has been waiting down here all this time? Falling star beast. It's a faceless bull. With a long, jagged tail, and like, uh, uh, ant mandibles, and gravity magic, and a very thick, crystalline hide. Loves projectiles, too. Ooh, that's so delayed. Oop, I'm in the door. Oh, this isn't a good place to be. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Oh, 
one, two, and a big one. Honestly, incantations are my best bet here because of the armored hide. Especially ones that hit that face. Or that lack of face. Oh, shit. Okay, this is fine. Oh, it's not fine. That one fireball whiffing did it. Okay, this should be a two-shot fight. Given the, la the way the last one ended. I'm not seeing this taking a third attempt after this. I don't really love this position, though. Circle away from the wall. Gotta dodge some of those projectiles really late. The one from the tail, this one, I think comes earlier. But sometimes the terrain makes it whiff. This one, he'll turn around, sometimes does three? Ah, shit. I got hit by the third. But again, don't love the wall. Don't love the wall. This is much better, though. Ah. Uh, neither of those caught the face. Okay, at least that's my bubble. Now I just want to circle off away from the wall again. Doing the tail thing. Rocks. Come on. Yeah. And then, not missing that. That witch killed if I had charged it. <laughs> it's fine. Whoops. Still fine. God. Still fine. Still fine. Literally not worried. And there it is. The first one was a fluke. You hear me, Falling Star Beast? You got lucky the first time. And the really big prize that we get to claim off of that fight is the uh, first rank of the, of the somber smithing stone miner's bells. Which, when we turn them in in round table hold will allow us to purchase an infinite quantity of somber stone smith uh, somber smithing stones one and two uh but of course we could already do that with eg now let's get out of here and we can move on to where i intend to end the episode which is the impassable great bridge in front of red main castle Because we are starting next time with Redmain Castle and Radon. Hey! I'm a dirty, dirty liar. Turns out the festival has already started, which means there's not actually anyone guarding the impassable Great Bridge, making it the very, very, very passable Great Bridge. Uh, and it also means that there's not really anything to do in Redmain Castle right now. Uh... So we really should just take the Waygate. That doesn't mean we're going to be skipping Redmain Castle. It just means that we're going to be doing it after we have killed the boss of the dungeon. <laughs> uh, it's not the biggest or most expansive of the Legacy dungeons. Uh, it's much more about the event and Radon than it is Redmain Castle itself. We're just going to be going back for that after. Uh, and that means that I 
at least want to end this inside right before Radon. So we're actually going to do a few more things before I cap it off. Uh, and besides, I needed to do shout outs uh, for my $10 and up patrons for the month of February anyway. So it's a good thing that there was something to come back to. <laughs> I'll just do that once this room is clear. I wish he. Oh, it's gonna. The fire's gonna catch him. Excellent. What do you got? Uh, just a butterfly. Nah, I'm pretty sure there's nothing up here, but there is a chest in the corner. <laughs> All right. So as far as those shoutouts, thank you to. Sam Cracky. Oh, that's just an arrow sting talisman. Uh, Wolfman 500. Wi Fi. Spectre Haven. Not a tick with Wi Fi. Survivable drop. Um, Moody, Dr. Rosen. Cleric Beastie, and Breton Buchanan. Absinthe Miasma. Kyle. Evan. All brought in full, Victor T, and Glenn Mullen. An extra special welcome to the party, to all of you. You can see Redmayne Castle. Nothing going on here. Except for the courtyard out front. Because everybody's gathered for the party. The song that's playing right now is called Song of Honor, and it's not being performed by vocalists. It's being performed by the brass section of the choir. Uh, because the composer made a hasty request at the last minute to them to better represent all of the... the the mercenaries and the party goers here not necessarily being trained singers ah there you are took your sweet time the players are all made up I'm waiting for the curtain let's give them a show to remember eh? just don't you go dying on me for Ronnie's sake too once more into the fray together eh? <laughs> this might even be fun yeah, together. Once more into the fray together. <laughs> so we have Blythe, and these are not player phantoms. Uh, she is named Finger Maiden Theralina. And teaches you the polite bow gesture. Champions! Welcome! The stars of aligned! The festival is nigh! General Radon! Mightiest demigod of the shattering awaits you. Champions, prepare for battle. Defeat the general, claim glory, and grab that great rune. A celebration of war. The Radon Festival. Do you see where this is going? All these party goers, all of these warriors traveling from far and wide to get their crack at Radon. If you don't, you will. Ah, you came. How delightful. Indeed, I thought I might find you here. By the by, do you know for whom this festival is being held? Well... It is none other than General Radan himself. To think, I could face a great champion of the Shattering, a demigod in the flesh. Oh, God. In truth, I quiver at the thought. Such is his frightful repute. But the fear simply assures me the ordeal is worth undertaking. Be sure to get a good vantage, my friend. I... Iron Fist Alexander, do hereby vow to unflinchingly brave this ordeal. Be sure to get a good vantage, my friend. 
I... I... Are you good and prepared, young chum? The festival begins. Before we begin, allow me to paint you the full picture. General Radan is cursed ever to wander. Eaten from the inside by Melania's scarlet rot, his wits are long gone. Now he gathers the corpses of former friends and foes alike, gorging on them like a dog. Howling at the sky. But now, we must make merry. Oh, gathering of champions! The revels begin! The celebration of war! The Radan Festival! You will find the field of battle past the church ahead. Upon the shore under the fort, General Radan is there, even now, divested of his wits, devouring corpses, and howling at the sky. You will find the field of battle, General Radan, divested and howling. Divested of his senses, howling at the sky. Be sure to get a good vantage, my friend. Scouring the battlefield for corpses. Once more into the fray together. <laughs> Afflicted for who knows how long by Scarlet Rot, um, a detonation of which he was at the epicenter of. And yet, still so revered, so feared, so formidable that a regular festival in his honor is held where the party goers all try to kill him and have presumably failed every time the one who holds back the stars general radon is up next Unfortunately, we can't really get a good look at him ahead of time over the dunes. All right, that is going to do it for tonight. Thank you all for watching. Look forward to General Radon next time. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.